So I, I like to, the, the reason that article came up was I like to do um, Christian dating horror stories. It's always great. We're weird as Christians. We got to laugh at ourselves a little bit. And I love having people share those like weird stories that they feel like is unique to them that we all find funny. You know, the God told me I had to date you kind of stuff. Mm. So people share these really great things. But the one thing that I thought was so weird was all these women were sending me stories about guys sending them photos of their genitals and they said i went to christian dating apps because i didn't want to have that happen anymore and it still happened yeah. um they don't do it in app i think because there, there's all sorts of filters or whatever for photos but they told me they're like no they like eventually text it to me or something like that and they're like i'm just so bummed like i thought christian men were above that but so i got an idea i was like i got to figure out why christian men are doing this so i googled the research that's been done on men who send penis pictures and uh, I like to run as Richard pictures. Okay. It's more like, <laughs> okay. if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get so, you. So men who send Richard pictures. So um, Rich pics. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but poor, poor in content. <laughs> what they found about, they found that 50% of men have sent one. Wow. In their lifetime. And they found that the – yes. But so ne- that means I'm but one of the 50 percent. But including no. married but, – but including married people, people oh, who have been dated, okay. like the, okay. those sorts of things too. They're saying 50 percent of men have sent one. Wow. And they looked for the commonalities of that 50 percent, especially the ones who did it while they were like in early stages of dating. And they said the three traits that they found from the man who's most likely to send it is narcissistic – young and has sexist tendencies Mm. and when i read those three things i was like those are three things that christians also can be too like and in some of those things it can be worse and they studied these men about why they were sending it too and what they found was a lot of men send it as a compliment to the woman, which is mind blowing to what me. What an odd compliment. Yes, they, it's like they a backhanded said, compliment. Yeah, but they said but it, like an it's a way that they, their like weird, inappropriate, primal brain says like I'm attracted to you. You're an attractive person, um, so it was sent for that reason, but also like to get something in return, whether it's a photo or a date or something like, hey, I've just been vulnerable with you. Be, be it with me. I'm not saying like it's completely wrong. Yeah, it's like no caveman matter. logic. Mm-hmm. But I think people need to realize that Christians are not above struggles. Christians are not above doing bad things. Christians are not above being predators. Like people can have Jesus associated with their name and make mistakes, but also be bad people too. And Mm -hmm. I think when people go onto dating apps, they have this high standard of the men are gonna be different, the women are gonna be different, but unfortunately you're gonna find a lot of the same issues there because we struggle with a lot of the same things that everybody else does. So until we start bringing attention to that, when you have your expectations in the right place, we need to start calling it out, we need to start doing better, and we need to start preparing people to know like, hey, this could happen. You're not completely safe. Mm -hmm. Just because something says Christian on it doesn't mean it's a good thing and doesn't mean that you're gonna have a 100% positive experience. It's the image of perfection that Christians put out there that I think kind of handles this. And this is why uh, you see a lot of deconstruction, you see a lot of people running away from faith is because when the standard is perfection, everybody fails. Mm -hmm. And when a church, an individual church has a standard of perfection, then when a pastor fails or a prominent member of that community fails, People are like, well, what does this say about everybody else? And everybody's all of a sudden in that same standard. So we have to change that perception to being what the church is actually told to be biblically, which is we're broken people. It's that common phrase I've heard, like a church isn't a museum of perfect people. It's a hospital for the broken. And when we start viewing the church as a hospital for the broken and actually put that image out there into the world, that's when it's going to start becoming a more positive place. But unfortunately, we have that perfection thing right now that if you step away from Christianity and kind of look at it from the outside looking in, that's what we have. And we have to recognize that first and foremost if we're going to get better as Christians and if we're going to evangelize effectively to the world. We have to know how they see us Um, because I don't want to go to somebody who um, has that image of Christians of, oh, you're just going to try to make me perfect because that's unattainable. It's unattainable for me. It's unattainable for them. So why is that the standard? So when we put that standard on dating apps, on anything with a Christian label, we're doing damage to ourselves. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I and for me, like I have never sent a rich pick, as you call it. <laughs> I haven't uh, either. <laughs> with, with me neither. I, I was gonna say I just want to get that out there for everyone to know we are not a part of the other fifty percent. We're part of the good fifty percent. <laughs> wow. Hey y'all, we hope you love this conversation. Here at Young Married Christian, we are on a mission to see a gospel-centered home made available for every single child in the foster care system. There are 400,000 kids in the foster care system and there are 400,000 churches in America. Wow, that is crazy. This is absolutely a solvable problem and we wanna be a part of it. If you wanna join us in that mission, text the word FREEDOM to 833-370-1610. 833-370-1610. And another thing you can do that is really helpful is to smash the like button on this video. Smash it like Satan's face. Crush it like it's Lucifer's head. It really helps us a ton, so smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. That's it. <laughs> smash the like button on this video.